What's up, everybody? And today we are checking out the deadliest submarine the USA ever built. This is by US Military News. It's um, the channel that seems to be the best channel to go to for quick information on a military vehicle or a military equipment and is usually done incredibly well with really good information and uh overall good production of the videos so i'm excited to watch this and if you want to watch the video without me waffling over the top of it without that guy in the who's that guy in the corner talking over the video i see you boomers in the comments there's a link in the description if you want to do that we are so close let me double check we are so close to half a million subscribers guys we're at as of recording this, we're at 494,166. Subscribe because when we get to half a million, we're going to have a party on the live stream. I'm going to have a party and I'm pretty sure my brother's going to come over and we're going to play some games and we're going to, we've been supplied by Nidhogg and Meadery. They gave us, there's only five bottles here, but they've gave us seven bottles. I had, I had a glass yesterday, so our bottle's downstairs, and my brother stole a bottle as well. But he'll bring that over for the half a million subscriber live stream. And we're, we're not going to drink it all, but we're going to have some fun and drink quite a bit. <laughs> so if you want to see that and have some fun on channel with me, I don't know what we'll end up playing. Um, I think it's just going to be one of them live streams where we just kind of switch it on, have some fun, have a laugh, have a drink, celebrate the achievement we've all achieved together because we've done it together as a community. Um, and then, yeah, just have some fun, all right? So if you haven't already, please subscribe. There's a lot of people who watch these videos and are not subscribed, all right? But yeah, let's watch this video, the deadliest submarine the USA ever built. Let's learn some stuff. Let's have some fun. And let's grow as a body of men. Let me turn them subbies on. Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, the U.S. military's ultimate weapon. Is it, isn't it terrifying that that giant deadly ship can just be lurking under the sea? That's terrifying, that, isn't it? Da, 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 da. America's Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines are some of the quietest, stealthiest submarines in the world. The Ohio submarines represent America's ace in the hole, megatons of nuclear firepower quietly patrolling the world's oceans. I, I just, there's something about submarines that terrify me. Not in a sense of like, I'm scared of them. Just like, they're just terrifying. Do you know what I mean? Like, they could be anywhere at any point, just lurking in the sea. And they've, they've got nuclear weapons on them. It's not like they're just, they can, it's not like a shark that can bite you and kill you. These things can destroy a country. Do you know what I mean? And they're just lurking under sea. No big deal. And they're massive. Look at the size of them. Ensuring that any nuclear attack on the United States will not go unpunished. In addition to the 14 ballistic missile submarines, four have been converted to missile carriers capable of unleashing more than 150 conventionally armed cruise missiles against the most heavily defended targets. That's, that is mental when you think about, oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy peeking out the water. Oh, oh my God. What a shot. That was a great shot whoever got that. The Ohio-class submarines were the result of an early 1970s requirement for a larger missile submarine capable of carrying the next generation and beyond of submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Mm. Submarine-launched missiles were growing longer and wider due to the demand that they carry multiple warhead re-entry vehicles while maintaining and even extending their range. The U.S. Navy's older submarines of the George Washington and Ethan Allen classes were physically unable to accommodate the newer Poseidon and projected Trident series of missiles. The Ohio class. I've been saying for quite a while now that I want to do more videos on missiles themselves and actually learn more about uh, the different types of missiles and stuff like that. So if you've got recommendations for which ones to look into first, let me know in the comment section, okay? This was initially meant to be a simple upgrade of the Lafayette class submarines, 
But the Navy was anxious to include advances in nuclear propulsion quieting learned from the USS Norwal submarine and its natural circulation technology reactor, the S-5G, and ultimately decided in favor of clean sheet submarine design. I just want to go back. Well, I'm not going to go back, but that way he was walking through the submarine then. So I be obviously I've been on ship when I did anti-piracy in the Royal Marines. And the ships themselves, um, they're relatively claustrophobic because I was on a small ship, right? Not that much. There was rooms that you could chill in. You could go out on the deck. It's not that big of a deal. But in a submarine, you must feel really claustrophobic knowing that you're under the water for that long in a tight space like that. I don't know. There's something about it that's just, it, it's bizarre, a, a bizarre job. Do you know what I mean? There was a lad I was, when I went to school in Maine and I went and back to university, there was a, I, I, I had a friend there who worked on submarines and I was just saying to him, I was like, how did you do that? Like, he was in the US Navy and he worked on submarines. Yeah, it's just, it, it blows my mind. The submarines were designed to be 560 feet long with a beam of 42 feet able to accommodate two rows of 12 Trident C4, later D5 missiles each. Wow. The holes were constructed of HY-80 steel for strength. The submarine displaces 18,750 tons submerged and has an operating speed in excess of 20 knots. Wow. Well, that's the what Ohio we... Someone said in one of the last videos when I was saying about how fast can these submarines go, people say they you don't we actually don't know how fast they can go, and that there's obviously a reason for that. So it says excess of 20 knots. Like we don't know how fast these guys these things can actually go. And I think that's an important point to make because if you are in a I think it's an important thing to keep quiet because when they are doing something stealthy and they can get out of there quick. It's important, obviously, for the enemy to not know how quick you are. It's also important for uh, maneuverability of these vehicles, right? Oh, we need a bunch of vehicles in this specific area because something might kick off. Like, it, it's time it takes to get to that certain area, which is very important as well if they're across the, the planet. Do you know what I mean? It's packed 24 Trident C4 missiles, each with a range of 4,600 miles, and carrying 800 kiloton warheads. Size of them. This was a marked improvement over the earlier Poseidon missile, which had a range of just 2,876 miles. While Holy. Poseidon could easily hit Moscow from the Norwegian Sea, more distant targets in Central Russia and Soviet Central Asia were out of reach. The C-4 allowed the Ohio class to strike the same area from as far as the mid-Atlantic or the entire western half of the USSR if operating east of Iceland. Altogether, each submarine boasted a total of 19.2 megatons in nuclear weapons. That is mental. Look at the size of them things. I didn't think they were that big. In 1990, the Ohio-class submarines began transitioning to a new missile, Trident D-5, that's Holy. still in service today. D-5 is a larger, heavier missile that carried <clears throat> eight warheads of 100 or 475 kilotons each. Oh, my God. And has a God. maximum effective range of 7,456 miles. This considerable range upgrade makes it possible for a submarine equipped with a Trident D-5 to strike any point in the former Soviet Union while tied up at the submarine base at Kings Bay, Georgia. Oh, my God. That is mental. Depending on the warhead configuration, each Ohio submarine armed with D-5s went to sea with a total of 19.2 to 91.2 megatons. How, how, how are people able to even live in there? Like, surely it's just missiles in that submarine and nothing else. Like, look at, this, look at that. It takes up most of the frigging submarine. Each fleet ballistic missile submarine spends an estimated 66% of its time at sea with two sets of crews, blue and gold, alternately manning the boat. Interesting. Patrols last for 70 days with a 25-day handover period in port between crews, meaning an average crew will spend 70 days at sea and 95 days on shore. That's, that, I think that's a solid rota rotary right there. I think uh, we did something similar on a ship where there was three crews and they would rotate between two crews being on the ship and one being off, and they would spend like two or three months out at sea swap to the next one two or three months out of sea so you would sp you would spend about 
six months on the ship before you get like three months off, um, which is decent. And I think that's still decent for us in the Royal Marines when when there was only like five of us uh, doing the antipiracy, and uh, when they would do the changing of the the crews there wasn't room for us five on ship. So they'd always put us in a hotel in places like Dubai and stuff. And we just get wasted all the time. <laughs> a major 12 month overhaul is undertaken every nine years. Since the end of the cold war, a number of changes have come about to a missile submarine fleet under the terms of the start Two treaty. The number of nuclear armed submarines was reduced from 18 to 14. Hmm. The 2010 New START Treaty limited the number of Trident D-5s deployed at any one time to 240 missiles. To comply with this, four missile launch tubes per submarine are removed, reducing each submarine to 20 missiles each. More room for people to chill out and relax. <laughs> Maybe they've got an extra couple chairs in there now. <laughs> Under New START, each missile has an average of three of to six warheads each. That's mental. Arms control experts Hans Christensen and Robert S. Norris estimate the United States has between four and five submarines on hard alert at any one time. Estimates. We don't know, really, do we? Let's be honest. Capable of responding to a surprise nuclear attack with another two undergoing overhauls. Mm. One of the least obvious but more important upgrades to the D-5 in recent years is the advent of the Superfuse that allows them to attack hardened targets, including communication sites and missile silos. Interesting. Although the ability to hand off counterforce targets to the submarine fleet is meant to make a smaller nuclear force more credible, some experts believe making such a difficult to detect weapon so deadly is inherently destabilizing. The yeah, I get that. I think that's a solid. It, it, yeah, it's definitely destabilizing. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's be honest right the the weapons that they have on these submarines are um they're the type of weapons that if they're used the world changes and i'm not saying physical well it does change physically because they'll put a massive dent in the world but i'm saying like politically if one of these big warheads goes off the whole political landscape just er would just erupt wouldn't it it would be like the whole world would be in panic mode about what's going on, why it's happened, where it's going, what's the outcome, what's the damage, why like the whole thing would just be pure chaos, wouldn't it? Four Ohio class submarines removed from fleet ballistic missile submarine duty still had 10 to 15 years of service left in them. Rather than dispose of the holes, the Navy found a radical solution, convert each to a guided missile submarine or SSGN. Each submarine had its ballistic missile tubes reworked to carry up to seven Tomahawk cruise missiles for a total of 154 missiles per submarine. 154 <laughs> missiles per sub. Think about that for a second. 154. Oh my God. Single sub can strike up to 154 targets with a one ton warhead at ranges of nearly a thousand miles. Oh my God. A valuable capability <laughs> in conventional conflict against countries like Iran, North Korea, or even Russia or China. That's the mental. The guided missile variants represent a potent kick down the door capability, striking enemy command and control and air defense assets before friendly manned aircraft come within range. Let's hope it never the gets 14 used. 14 Ohio class missile submarines are unseen protectors of America from nuclear ambush. Each will probably remain in service for 40 years or more, depending on how well their replacements. 40 years is a long time. The Columbia class stick to their timetable. Their conventionally armed brethren offer a powerful, flexible option for dealing with everything from terrorist groups to nation states. These undersea giants are not only the most deadly war machines ever built, but some of the most flexible as well. If replacements go according to schedule, then the oldest Ohio class submarine will have served in the US Navy for 45 years. That's impressive that. That's really impressive that it can serve for that long, especially in a world where technology is growing exponentially every single day, isn't it? Nearly half a century. A great run for some of the most powerful submarines the United States ever built. Yeah, definitely. Is that it, pretty much? I guess there's just some footage here. It makes me want to watch more videos on submarines and learn more about them because I barely 
touch I barely touched the surface for these submarines. Pun intended. Uh, yeah, I barely like like done any information on submarines at all. Um, and it makes me want to do more. Is this just legit like Yeah, it's just footage at this point. They're massive, aren't they? Great video, as always, by US Military News. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and watch it without me. Without that guy in the corner waffling on. And then, and then boomers in the comments. Who's that guy? Would be much better if he wasn't talking over it. <laughs> if you're one of them boomers, go to the description and you can watch the video without me talking over it. If you're not one of them boomers, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to get really drunk on the channel when we get to half a million subscribers and it's going to be an absolute blast. Other than that, I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Goodbye.